السلام عليكم هذا uh, احمد الحارثي uh, a computer engineer student in KFUPM uh, I am going to show uh, a small demo about my uh, simple design uh, of uh, a 16 bit RISC uh, processor uh, uh, I will um, try some or a group of instructions uh, I will store uh, or I will load four in register one using uh, add immediate and the same will go for register two I will add five then I will add four to five and store the result in register three then I'm going to store the result in location zero at the uh, data memory okay uh, uh, my design this is uh, the instruction memory here and this is the register file where registers are here I have seven registers and one zero register um, and uh, this is the ALU where the operations are done or addition subtraction um, comparison and uh, or and uh, nor uh, XOR uh, uh, I will start the uh, demo I have pre-supplied the uh, the instructions as uh, hexadecimal uh, ins uh, as a hexa in a hexadecimal format uh, into the instruction memory okay uh, to start the demo I will start triggering the clock so the first instruction now is going in we can see that in the register file that value 4 wants to be stored in register 1 this will happen on the next trigger for the register for the clock in the register and we can see that read register 1 and read register 2 which are going to the ALU and their data they are empty now and their data are going to uh, ALU here okay uh, if I trigger again and then go to the next instruction you can see that 4 is now uh, added to 0 in register 1 so now we have 4 in register 1 ok uh, in, in the next instruction which is adding uh, 5 to register 2 ok uh, we will perform this instruction and we can see that uh, after executing this instruction that now we have register 1 has 4 register 2 has 5 and register 3 is 0 still ok now the third instruction is adding register 2 to register 1 and store the result in register 3 okay uh, I will we will look now inside the ALU and see what instructions are enabled we can see that the addition operation is enabled and the supplied values are 5 and 4 okay and the output is 9 and if we go back now and complete triggering this clock we can see obviously that register 3 now has the sum of register 1 and register 2 again uh, now
now I am going to store the value of register 3 at location 0 in the data memory okay 0 here is the register 0 the value of 0 will be added to the location which is 0 plus 0 equals 0 so location 0 now if I trigger again and complete the cycle we can see that obviously that 9 is now stored at location 0 thank you for watching I hope you like it and goodbye